Hello, in today's technical corner, I'm joined by Richard of Greenleaf, and we're going to be talking about your accelerator program, which I know is proven very popular for very good reason. Yes, this is uh, is well known in the industry. It's um, it, it's it's a great product from Greenleaf. Uh, we use a positive or negative insert. Um, we can also use carbide or ceramic. We've got a full range of face mills, um, high feed, and also the smaller ones for doing pockets. Um, so we talk about, there's obviously round inserts here, button inserts and high feed. Where's the overlap? Are these purely for face milling and you would use the high feed to open up a pocket or open up a hole? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, on the face mill, uh, we use a cartridge system. So this allows you to use any style of ISO insert, square, rhomboid, uh, round, like it shows there. Um, again, on the smaller pockets, you can get in with this. We can use a negative or a positive, helping the swarf clearance. And then ceramic it, and carbide? Ceramic and carbide in all the tools. Uh, and again, with a high feed, if you need to get sharper corners, inside pockets mm -hmm. also, you can go for the, the, mm -hmm. the four edge insert there. Do you know that's really good for infantry, isn't it? You know, you go and see these shops now, they've got all these tool mm -hmm. holders, and some of them, they're not quite obsolete, but they very rarely get used. So for an engineer, if, if I had a machine shop, it would be great, you know, one holder, various grades of carbide and, and my ceramic as well yeah it, it, it is it's ideal um you know from from the big shops to the small jobbing mm -hmm. shops like i said the cartridge system works so you're only buying one tool so that's only one expense and then you put the, the cartridges in separate so that becomes very versatile and if there's a failure you just replace the, the you, cartridge you just re replace the cartridge so it's, it's saving you money yeah and i know you've got great heritage green leaf in the mold and dye sector mm. but presumably it's also all the other sectors i know you're heavy in aerospace and difficult to machine materials cast iron stainless steels so these apply to all those sectors apply to everything from your, your simple mild steels all the way through your really difficult ink canals mm -hmm. yeah, because of the situation without the carbide and the ceramic inserts yeah. and i'm interested on the um on the high feed mill because carbide shifts isn't it you, yeah. you can get up to 8 10 12 16 meters feed rates with carbide yeah so what what can we achieve with, with whisker ceramics what you would do with a with a, uh, a whisker ceramic in there again you're probably times in your cutting data by four no really so oh yeah so as long as you've got the revs and and the feed rate you can really make that thing so with productivity gains up to four times that of carbide why isn't every engineer using your high feed I think certain materials and certain machines, yeah, that's where, where the stumbling block comes. Um, because obviously if you're running it four times quicker, you need a machine to be able to run it four times quicker. Uh, so that's where you, you may fall down on that side. Mm -hmm. And how about the depth of cut? Is that, again, the same again, as you'd expect from carbide? Exactly, just the same as you expect from carbide. Mm -hmm. It's just the data gets switched up a little bit. And I'm just trying to think of other limitations, there are none really, but there, it, no. you don't case harden the material because you're going that fast? No, 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 because all the, the, the heat's coming through into the chip, just like you expect it to. Um, it's ideal when you get up to after hardening in your mold and dye and things like that. You know, you can save on, op on grinding operations and various things like that. So. so I'm sold on the high feed, it sounds yes. like a bit of a, a no-brainer, but how about the other two? Yes, uh, the C4 face mill, um, like I say, is very versatile. We do starting at 80 mil diameter all the way up. Um, again, the different style of inserts that you can put in there, you're using the nests. Um, it, it's just a very competitive piece of kit. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the ceramic, would you almost go on a high, high, uh, high feed, uh, sorry, a low depth of cut with a high feed, or do you tend to increase the feed rate, get, you know, get the tool in to cut more? Get the tool in to cut more with, with, a, with a tool like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, up around about two milli depth of cut. Um, your feed rates, depending on the material, you can get up to 0.4 per tooth. Okay, so if we're talking two more depth of cut, that's quite a large insert there. So yeah. we're, we're talking great economy again. Maybe, oh, fantastic. maybe what, eight rotations? Yeah, you'll definitely get eight edges out of, out of a button. So. so again, when you're talking eight edges, that, I know uh, ceramics are more expensive than carbide. Is, is a base cost, but when we're putting in, when we look at the productivity savings, yes. it, the mm. price is it's never the price is, it's never irrelevant, but it, the price is such a limiting factor. Yes, that, that's right. Uh, when you look at it, if you rounded it off at, at two pound an edge, for, for example, on a piece of carbide, it's very similar for ceramic when you're getting the number of edges, and you get rid of your headaches, and you get rid of all your headaches. And just finally, we've got a couple of the grades here. What what are the two grades? Yeah, we've got a WG six hundred. Um, we'd use that. As, as a standard grade and the other the, the black grade that you see there is the exciting one grade 
which is working extremely well on ink and elves, um, all sorts of materials. Um, it's a very versatile, tough grade. So you at Greenleaf, you're all about productivity. You're all about process reliability. Yeah. So if you could have one word to an engineer, why would you use Greenleaf tools? There we are on the spot. Customer service and good technical support. There we are. Thanks for watching.